so you're just back being successful as usual. Um, if, first of all, have you gotten a chance to take in the Comic-Con craziness? Not this uh, year. It just started. Yeah. We, we yeah. got in last night and we ate and this, a little bit of crazy. This is my first year on a weekday. Because we had always been here on a weekend. On a weekend. Yeah. I don't know about your other. I think you guys tomorrow's other a crazy shows. day, right? Yeah. Tomorrow's when it gets wild. I mean, I saw people in costumes at sleeping, 5 a.m. Yeah, I'm not right. gonna lie. And I saw like, the sleeping bags that's, that's out on the, the sidewalk. There was like sleeping yeah. bags waiting for a panel. Wait, that was me. That was me. Uh, They're waiting for you. They're waiting for, for, waiting for, for tell me a story. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. So listen, when you read the description of this show, I have to be honest, we're in show business, everything's a little weird. Yeah. This might be the weirdest description of a show of all time. So Kevin, can you break this down? We're gonna get scared by Little Red Riding Hood. Well, I don't know if Little Red Riding Hood's gonna scare you, but oh, you mean the story will. Yeah. Well, it's basically, uh, we take in sort of the classic fairy tales, which are rather grim if you go back before Disney. Right. And and there's sort of, uh, we, we're taking Little Red Riding Hood, Hansel and Gretel, and the Three Little Pigs, which yeah. these two men are part of. Yeah. And we're intertwining them in a sort of a 10 episode drama that has a beginning, middle, and end. And we're taking the themes and morals of all of the storylines and subverting them into a modern context. I, I, I mean, you sound so eloquent when you explain. Okay, I get it, you know what, it's fine. Yeah. I was like, Three Little Pigs, this sounds, how scary is this gonna be on your it, scare levels? It's, you know, it, it's a drama. So yeah. it has a lot of dark undertones and there's a yeah. lot of scary moments, yeah, yeah. but it's a very dramatic show. It's a very emotional show. It's a, you know, we're sort of, sort of, we're in the cable space and we get to sort of play with the characters and sort of unravel them and sort yeah. of the bad guy becomes good, the good guy becomes bad. You're not quite sure what you're watching at any given moment. And they're real people, you know, as opposed to, they're not playing that sort of, a typical archetype, you right. know, of the big bad wolf. They're actual people who have, you know, it's, deep, yeah, it's like, not a heightened fair. It's not a heightened special effects. It's it's very modern. It's very real. It's very grounded, and it's a drama about real that. people. But as you're watching, you'll go, oh, that's the the little pig. Oh, like that's the you have to sort of. So there's of, not like a nose. No, no, it's an no. adult drama. I and I think this. that's actually what's so cool about it. I think people at home, I mean, I'm repeating what you said, but people are going to be watching it. They're going to be watching this drama that has these, and then they're going to, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. Oh, and then that's right. Little Red Riding Hood. Right. And, that's the big battle. And, yeah. and, and, and then who is the wolf? Is Little Red Riding Hood oh. the hero of the story? And, mm -hmm. you know, or is there a wolf lurking inside of her? You know, it's sort of, and which is the theme, which yeah. is don't stray from the path. There's, there's strangers in the world, and they'll, they'll, they'll do bad things to you, or you'll do bad things to yourself. Oh. Who's responsible, you or them? Now, what's it been like for you guys to team up again? Uh, Who are you? Uh, yeah, what was your name? <laughs> um, I, uh, listen, uh, I, I just, I, I'll make it fairly abbreviated. Like, I'm so flattered that Kevin came to me with this because um, wow, wow. This, is the, <laughs> this is the opposite of <laughs> Stefan on the Vampire yes. Diaries, you know, and yeah. just the fact that he was able to sort of say, hey, okay, I want to give Paul a crack at doing something uh, different and much more, you know, I, I hate to say it, but like a little, it's more sophisticated, it's more mature in that, I'm not saying Vampire Diaries was very complex, but it was a specific genre and yeah. it was a specific audience type, and this is streaming, and this is a character who is, um, he's not, he's the anti-hero in many senses, he's, he's, he's down on his luck derelict I hate to objectify him but he's a guy who's like a substance abuser and yeah. he, Stefan was this sort of the hero mm -hmm. who's you know sort of saving the world and and so it's the opposite so the fact that you were able to and offer I'm, me that is but most importantly and, Kevin did you make him audition no no you did it I know I was so it, I my, my answer is ditto in reverse because I I was like would you be willing to play this character yeah and and i i'd actually sent him the script earlier and just said you know read this what do you think and he, you know because we've you know we've been in touch since vampire diaries yeah. and and we've just sort of always sort of uh, been hanging out and i just gave him the script and he was like i love this i love this and then when i said what about this role because it's it's a certain specific role it's yeah. sort of a character piece for him and that's how i, I it's what i want to see Paul do next. I love that. And so I gave it to him and said, this is something I think you would kill. Okay, so no nice. pressure. Did you have to audition? No. <laughs> no. Not to put you on the spot, no, no, but I, like, I, while I you're hesitated, sitting in the I middle. I hesitated because I was ready to say something else, but no, I didn't have to audition. Oh, I love but that. I was, I was gonna say, um, you know, like I, I, in a way, you would think my character Jordan could be the hero in the story. And then I remember, I, I stepped behind the monitor and I saw Paul playing his character who's supposed to be the bad guy, and I was like, oh, he has so much pathos people are gonna really like that bad guy <laughs> Maybe he's the hero too and I think that's how a lot of these characters uh, are is there's they're so human yeah. and there's so much going on for them that people are gonna identify even if it's a bad person yeah you know there's a reason why and I think that's gonna be fun for the audience there's so many rich yeah. characters in this well, we all have a little good and bad um, yeah. what I'm most concerned about are 
you know, are our screens going to combust with both of your faces on the screen? Because you're very <laughs> handsome. I don't know. <laughs> the computers, it's streaming. I'm telling right. you, it's there are easier things than to sit with these guys <laughs> right? and pose with these guys. <laughs> right. I mean, I mean, it's not good. They, they wanted, they're like, Kevin, sit in the middle. Is it because if they're too close, like the whole studio just explodes? Or yeah, is put like the what? old guy in the middle. Funny you should I, say that because we can't get a decent selfie to save our lives. <laughs> you should see a compilation of us trying to I'm get a photo. Them. No, no, no. Um, We're all like, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, so. But, it, there, it, but it's true. They're both, I mean, it, the whole cast, though, is a beautiful cast. Yeah. You know, and we've I mean, got, you're incredibly talented, but I'm just like, well, what are well, you I'm, here, I'm, I'm, you know well, I'm, I'm blessed yeah. because I've got the best of both worlds. Yeah. You know, I've got, you know, and if you go and look at the whole cast, I didn't ever plan for it to be so pretty. And so I've been roughing them up a little bit <laughs> and trying to dirty them up and mess them up. You do get roughed up in He it does. Too. And what yeah. I love Good. about James yeah. is playing this part is, you, you, you know, what I think of James is this sweet, wholesome man. And he goes to a very, very dark place. And, and, and it, it, he, he goes from being sweet and nice really quick. And you have someone making a big TV return in your cast, Kim Cattrall. How did you manage to convince her to do this project? Well, I, you know, we, we just we sent the script to her people and gave it to her. And I just assumed it'd be an easy pass because we said, look, we, we get it. She's going to say no. She says no to everything. Yeah. <laughs> and she's going to say no to this. Yeah. And then next thing you know, I got a phone call going, she wants to talk. And I went, oh. Oh, oh, okay, this wow. is good, this is good. Mm. And she, and we started discussing, we got on the phone for an hour, and then when I finally met her, like I was just sitting in a room with her, like yesterday or the day before yesterday, yeah. and we were discussing the role, and, the, and she just, she's so into it. And she wants to sort of really, you know, she wants to play the grandmother. She wants to play the, she goes, please let us play a, a character. She says, I want to play my own age. Okay. And I want to play this role. And I want to sort of have this, and, and it's a wonderful relationship between, you know, these two women uh, and, and a young woman and Kim and how they learn from each other and grow that. and have an emotional bond. And when that gets ripped apart, it's quite, it's quite um, powerful. And she's all in. She's all in. I love that. Okay, last thing. I know you guys got to go. Um, obviously, you are in the um, business of breaking the internet because the Dawson's Creek cover, the reunion cover for EW, I mean, it was like the world had, we're, that's all we could talk about for weeks. So during that shoot, was there any talk about a possible reunion of any kind? Oh. I know. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I have to ask. Yeah. This is entertainment tonight. I need to know. I, let's just say there is talk. There's talk. There's talk. And it was because of entertainment weekly because putting they put us it, all together yeah and sort of reminding us of just how special that time was and how much we love each other yeah. and there has been talk I like katie see. holmes would sign on talk i'm not i can't say anything okay i'm, I'm sworn to secrecy but there's a text chain with gifs <laughs> and emojis. It's a GIF or a GIF? A GIF, sure. No, I'm, maybe it's a GIF. I don't, I don't know. know. It's my first I would, say, I, I would say there's a lot of texting going on. There's contracts being signed currently. No. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> awesome, you guys. Thank you so much for coming. So good to see you. And I was Thank wondering, you. come on over. This yeah.